Good afternoon. This is Deb Amlin with the New York Times. I am the Wordplay Crossword Columnist, and we are here to help you become a better solver. We're all exhausted. It's been a long year. Uh, but I know one thing about puzzle solvers. Even if you're a beginning solver and you're looking to become better or you are a veteran solver and you do the puzzles every day, we are um, critical thinkers and we enjoy using our brain to solve puzzles. So we're going to take some time away from the news and we are going to get through this by solving today's puzzle. Uh, join me, won't you? I, uh, I think that when we stick together and we help each other through the solve, we can pretty much do anything. Uh, today's puzzle, if it looks, the grid looks a little funny, is festooned with a letter. And you can't really tell what letter it is right now, but um, that's going to become more apparent as we solve. It's a terrific Thursday puzzle by John, Jonathan Kay and Jeff Chen, edited by Will Shorts. And my favorite way to start is to just hop on anything that I definitely know, like 14 Across, actor John of Mad Men, that is Ham, John Ham. Um, let's see, what else can we do? This one, 14 Down, food item often placed in a stack. Um, I thought that it might be pancake. There's definitely enough letters for that. But since we have that H, I'm going to take a guess and say that it's hot cake. And if you have any guesses in today's puzzle, please put them in the comments and help, help me along. Uh, let's see. Nine down, actress Felicia. That's got to be Felicia Rashad. And what else have we got here? 10 down, words from the fashionably late. Well, since those words from, from somebody, I'm gonna guess the first letter is I for I'm. Not really sure what the rest of it is yet. Um, let's see, let's try the crosser. Free, well, to be free of something is to be rid of it. I don't know if that's right yet because DM doesn't look right, but let's take a look. Let's see what it is. Key of Paco Bell's Canon. Oh, well, the reason that's a D then is because it's a key, a musical key. So it's D minor or major, and we're going to figure out what that is. Uh, as soon as you can guess any of the answers, please join in. Um, 17 across is, it may require gloves for short. Uh, for short means it's probably an abbreviation or a nickname. Not really sure what that is yet so let's let's skip around a little bit 22 across jockey with a speeding citation now note that citation is capitalized so that's a name it's not a speeding citation is in a ticket uh, 22 across the jockey who rode citations name was Eddie Arcaro I remember reading about that in the news uh, 28 across is um, Alpha Dog. Let's see. I'm not really sure what that is yet. Um, here, let's try 20 down. Compound under control by the Kyoto Protocol. Well, that has to do with um, chemical control over chemicals that might cause global warming. That is free. That was Freon. Um, let's see. Alpha dog, I'm going to guess, I'm going to say that that's probably leader. That looks like it could be leader. Uh, no matter how, the ending is in OK. Not really sure what that is yet, but we're going to get to it. Uh, 40 across, I know this one. I'm not really totally a cat person, although I like them. I just happen to be allergic to them. Um, is 40 across is the Dickens quote, what greater gift than the love of a, now that could be dog, it could be cat, but it, today it happens to be cat. Um, let's see. Uh, we still have this corner, 
We don't know whether this is D minor or D major yet. Words from the fashionably late. Given the R and the E at the end, I'm going to guess that that's I'm here as somebody who might sweep in and swan in fashionably late. Uh, let's see, what have we got here? Um, mixed stock, I don't know what that is. Um, but uh, let's see, let's try 33 across. Dear companion. Now that's an interesting kind of clue. Anytime you see the word companion, especially with a question mark in the, in the clue, it means that you're looking for a word that usually is paired with the other word in the clue. So even though dear companion on the surface can mean somebody that you love to hang out with, uh, what, what the clue is really asking you to do is find a word that is usually paired with dear, and it's all usually typically separated by the word and. So in this case, whoops, sorry about that, 33 across would be near, as in near and dear. Got that? So anytime you see companion or partner, that's what the clue is asking you to do. Um, if you are leaving comments, uh, please uh, be patient with us. Our, our commentary thing is down for the moment, but do uh, keep your uh, comments coming and guesses coming in, in uh, the comment box because I will be reading them hopefully as, uh, you know, as time goes by. It has much room to grow, 34 down. Well, it's AC blank blank. And here's the thing, the clue on the surface sounds like it has much room to grow, meaning that it will, something is about to grow large. But what the clue really means is that something has a lot of room to grow on. And the answer is actually acre, because an acre has a lot of room to grow crops. Alrighty, 35 down, Eastern VIP. That is a very common word in crossword puzzles. The answer is Raja. Um, let's see, 41 down, vowelless interjection. Uh, oh, comments are back, thank you, and I thank you for your patience. Adrienne De Leon says 45 down is twin. Let's see, 45 down. Doppelganger, that's right. Somebody who is a doppelganger is your twin. Thank you very much. People are agreeing on Acre and Raja. Tara Motley says 41 down is Tisk, and that is correct because it is a vowelless uh, interjection. Um, let's see. Yep, Denise Nil Nilsen points out that it could be Ronnie. That is correct. Uh, in this case, though, it happens to be Raja, and we're gonna we're gonna check, we're going to double check that with 50 across, start of a flat maybe. Um, well, a flat could be a type of puzzle, but I think that that's probably a little exotic for this clue. I think the start of a flat refers to a flat tire, and the answer would be slow leak. So because we have that A at this, at this position, we know the answer is Raja. Uh, Lawrence Stanovich notes that the puzzles, uh, the numbers in the puzzle are hard to see. I'm sorry about that, Lauren. We're working on a different system today. Um, you know, you can enlarge your screen if that's possible. Um, Stephen Russo says 52 down is Star Wars. Let's take a look at that. 52, wait, there is no 52 down. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry, you meant 52 across. Blank fighter is a Star Wars vehicle. That's gotta be a TIE fighter. Okay, I know my Star Wars. Uh, Helena Vallum, I know you're too tired for this, but this is precisely when we should do it. We need to keep thinking and we need to keep moving forward. Uh, Karen Nemchik agrees on slow leak. Uh, Isaac Saragoski agrees, and Lane Sipos agrees on slow leak. Perna Kumar says 60 across is wolf. Let's take a look at that. 60 across. Writer who said one cannot think well, love well, sleep well if one has not dined well. That indeed is Virginia Woolf and I could not agree more. I like to dine well. 
Um, Jotsna Kenny, and please forgive me if I mispronounce your name, says that this corner here is OSHA, which is, you know, definitely a, a work safety organization that might require gloves. And that means that this letter would be a J for D major. Now, look at what we've got here. We've got a theme entry that says getting tons of calls, but we've got this long 14 letter entry that ends in the J. I'm not really sure what that could be. And here we have another one down at 42 across, wait anxiously, that ends in RJS. When have we seen that? We, uh, we, we're gonna have to solve this mystery and I hope we do it together. Um, Kim Sturt says, me too. I'm not sure what you're referring to, Kim, but uh, stick with us. Dawn BD says, 44 down is notified. Let's take a look at that. Oops, sorry about that. Tell, yep, yeah, to tell somebody something is to notify them. So let's put that in there. Um, Cameron Williams points out that 42 across is gonna be wrong. No word has RJS at the end. Ah. You are correct about that, Cameron, but let's take a closer look. Notice today that the black squares in the grid all have the same shape. I wonder why that is. Do, has anybody done the puzzle today? Does anybody know why all the black squares have a certain shape? Um, could it be possible that we're being asked to think about a certain letter very differently? Um, everybody's agreeing on notify. Annette Ballister says something. Oh, I get what you're saying and you're correct. So let's fill that in because I think that's really gonna help with today's puzzle. If you wait, oops, sorry about that. If you wait on tenter, I'm sorry, if you wait anxiously, you would be on tenter J's. Huh. What does that mean? Well, let's take a close of it, uh, closer look at it. Harrison Moses says, cause of all the L's we just took. <laughs> well, actually they're not L's. You know what they are, they're J's. And why would they be J's? What does B on tenter J's mean? If you wait anxious, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. That J looks like a hook. Doesn't it look like a J hook? So if you fill this in, wait anxiously, what it really says is be on tenter hooks. Now you could fill in the word hook as a rebus, but it's much more fun to fill in the J. It's almost like, it's almost like a code. Uh, Mary Palmer Strike wants to know how we can make the puzzle larger. Mary, I can't resize it on my computer, but if you hold your phone sideways, um, the, uh, the puzzle should enlarge a little bit. Um, Fernando Mora agrees the blocks are the shape of a J. Mumita Sarkar says 55 down is Don's. Let's get back to the puzzle and take a look at that. Barzini and others in The Godfather. Correct, Don Barnes, Barzini and others. Um, Miguel Laviega says, yes, they're hooks. And Teresa, I'm sorry, the, the comments are going by really quickly, so please forgive me if I miss yours. I am reading them, but I also have to look at the uh, computer. Um, Laura Lee Fay, you are very welcome. I hope you stick with us. We do this most, uh, mostly every Thursday at around one o'clock. Uh, Melissa Gunning says, 47 across is in sets. Let's see. Um, how bedroom furniture is often sold. Well, in sets. Um, yeah, that's, it. that's entirely possible. Let's put that in and see if that's correct. I personally, I don't really remember, but uh, let's see what this is. Many a Parliament Hill staffer. Well, Parliament Hill is up in Canada, so I'm not quite sure what, whether this is correct. And here's something I wanna point out to you guys. If you make a guess and it's incorrect, it's okay. It doesn't matter, we like you anyway. Um, the best way to solve a puzzle, 
is to take a good guess at something. And if it's wrong, it's wrong. That's what your eraser is for, and that's what the backspace is for. The important thing is that we do it together and you learn something from it or maybe have a laugh about it. So your, many a Parliament Hill staffer is an Ottawan because that's where Parliament Hill is. Um, Patricia Trevino says 46 down is Electra. Let's take a look at that. Record label whose name derives from Greek myth. You are correct about that, Electra Records. Um, Don Knapp says he's always intimidated by the New York Times crossword. I am so glad you've joined us and I hope you'll also read Wordplay because Wordplay is our daily column where we help people through the solve of each puzzle and we give tips and tricks for solving. We're here to help you guys. Um, Holly Roche, I'm sorry you can't see the words. Try turning your phone sideways to landscape. Uh, Aaron says 63 is cone. Let's take a look. Dairy Queen order. Oh, well, sure, that makes sense. Let's put in cone. Um, let's see. Uh, people are agreeing on Electra and Ottawin. Ned Chemist said, uh, and pl again, please forgive me if I, if I mispronounce your name. 47 is sweets. Um, I, if you're referring to 47 across, you know what, I, it's possible, but I'm pretty sure that this last letter is a T, so I'm not quite sure it's going to end in, um, it's going to end in an S. Uh, let's see, 64 across, to vex somebody is definitely to annoy them, thank you for the people who are guessing that, Tara Motley, Judy Norton. Uh, Mikhail Mymar says 54 is none. If you could please tell me uh, across or down, that's very helpful to me. Chances left after Slim left town in a saying, well, you're correct. It's none. That's where we get the, uh, the phrase slim to none from. And that makes 57 across a Jay's place, as in a blue Jay, that would be a nest. Um, Delisa Fields says she wants 47 down to be Greece. Hold on. The absolute worst. Um, well, I don't know. Some people like Greece. Um, Genevieve Collier and Natasha Yvonne are guessing that the furniture clue is as a set. You know what? That makes a lot of sense to me. So let's type that in. We can always take it out, right? Um, Michael May says 66 is CTU. Hold on. Counterterrorism organization. Um, I don't know what CTU is, um, and I'm not sure it, there's going to be a word that ends in a double C. The absolute worst. Not sure. Let's move on. 21 gun salutes, e.g. Uh, not sure. Oh, singer actress. Uh, that's got to be Ariana Grande. A lot of people don't like pop culture, but I thank God for it personally because, um, you know, otherwise I wouldn't be able to solve these things. Um, let's see. Michael May again says 66 across the CTU. Possible. Oh, is Ariana, would, does she end her name in an, in an A? Okay, I will change that. Um, let's see. Jerry Gillespie is guessing FBI. Natasha Yvonne is guessing NSA. Well, it's entirely possible that Conan may be incorrect. So let's take, we know that Ariana is correct, so we're gonna leave in the N, and let's see what else we can, we can figure out and to throw in here, because the best thing to do is fill around it when you don't know. Um, void, we don't have that yet. Reagan confidant, that has to be with the double E, that has to be Ed Meese. Um, Ashaki Quay uh, says Ariana with an A. Uh, please note that there is a bit of a lag on Facebook Live, so I have changed Ariana to an A. Um, yep, definitely changed that. Delisa says I misread worst for word. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for admitting that, Delise. I do that all the time. John Kelly says 58 down is slot. Let's see, 58. Little Caesar in Little Caesar. Um, 
Is, is that a slot? Uh, let's see. Um, not, oh, I'm sorry, I 56 down. Feature of a one-armed bandit is definitely a slot. That's where you put the coin in. Um, let's see. Um, hmm. Okay, Augustus Mercado thinks it's uh, 66 across is CIA. Let's try that. Okay, what's the worst thing that will happen? We can we take it out. Um, Ari Witolar says void equals absence. Possibly. Let's take a look. Uh, a absence. There we go. And one thing that I just got to look at, a course coda or course finish is an exam. Uh, let's see. People is, <laughs> Delisa Fields says Greece is the word. You're, you're really stuck on that, aren't you, Delisa? Um, Consuelo Neco says 53 is hook, line, and sinker. Let's take a look. 100%. You know what? I think you're, ter I think you're terrific, and I think you're great. Let's put it in, though. Here's the hook, line, and sinker. Boy, you guys are ripping through this. This is great. Emerson Laura wants to know what, what's the clue for 18 across? Let's see. Let's, oops, sorry about that. Getting tons of calls. And I think that that's probably going to be, I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but I think it's going to be ringing off the J. Nope, sorry, ringing off the hook is the answer. Um, a lot of people are, yeah, Erin, it is hard to remember that it's, it's, that the J represents a hook. A lot of people are agreeing on hook, line, and sinker. Karen Nemchik says 66 across is TSA. Hmm. Let's see. Counterterrorism organization. Well, you know what? The only, I, I have a feeling you may be right. And here's the reason. If you, we look at 48 down, it's a plural clue. 21 gun salutes, e.g. And because salutes is plural, I think that the answer is going to be plural. So I think that that's definitely going to be an S right here. Uh, let's see what else we have. BJ Fernandez Cohn says ringing off the hush, hook. N Natasha Ivans is ringing off the hook. Karen Myring says ringing off the hook. Carrie Bush has sung the entire song to herself and uh, has figured out that two down, the word rhyming with ignore in I am woman is definitely roar. I am woman, hear me roar in, in something too big to ignore. Um, let's see. Uh, Kristen Palacizo cannot see it. Try turning your phone to landscape, Kristen. Sometimes that enlarges the grid. Um, Michael May agrees that it's hook. Um, Danine Mills says, is it NSA instead of TSA? Well, you know what? The best way to do that is to try and solve this clue, 47 down, the absolute worst. You know, it's entirely possible, some people are guessing abject. Um, 48 downs, a lot of people are saying salvos, 21 gun salutes. Um, Let's see, it could be salvos. Let's see what 51 across is, minimal. Um, hmm, not really sure what that is yet. 59 across, plan to leave shortly, and shortly is the hint here that it's a, actually an abbreviation. It doesn't mean you're leaving soon. So evac would be the answer. Alex Schussler says three down is Omni. We're going to jump up here and take a look. Upscale hotel chain. Absolutely, Omni is an upscale, upscale hotel chain. Sorry. Um, let's see if we can get anything down here while we're, we're still solving. Dairy Queen order, cone. It's, it probably is going to be cone. And I think you're right. It's probably going to be salvos. Um, and I think... B Minimal is barest, so I think the people who guessed abject are right, the people who uh, guessed cone are right, and the people who guessed TSA are right. But you know what? That's okay. Even if you didn't guess that and you got it wrong, keep guessing because it's the only way you get better at this. Kay Quinn can't 
read the numbers on her phone. I apologize for that, Kay. We're working on a different system today because our usual computer is out in the field, but we're going to be back to that next next week. Matthew De, Sil De Silva agrees, abject cone embarrassed in the bottom left. Gunnar Hartley says 39 across is AUG, as in abbreviation for August, National Dog Day Month. Why not August? Um, in my house, every day is National Dog Day. Uh, Spence Blazek says 61 across, and this one, believe it or not, is the one most people revealed and had the hardest time with, but you're correct. Colorful corn balls is tricks, as in trick cereal. Let's take a look at some others. Um, oop, you know, people are pointing out that I made a mistake up here. It's Omni with an N. Thank you for letting me know. Um, while we're here, let's finish up this corner. Uh, ask too many questions, say. Well, we've got ask too many questions, and we've got event with a king and queen. I'm going to say that a four-letter word with R and O in the middle has to be prom, as in prom king and queen, which means that one down, ask too many questions, say, is probably going to be pry. So we've got that almost filled in. Um, locale of the sculpture, La Boca de la Verita. Um, now, the, th the important thing to, to note is you probably have gotten from the letters that the city is going to be Rome, but it's going to be Roma, which is the Italian pronunciation for Rome because we have Italian in the clue. So Italian in the clue means Italian in the grid, and the answer is Roma. Uh, Gary Miles says 52 down is ergo. Let's see. 52 down. Uh, well, I think, he, I think you're thinking of something else. Oh, wait. 57 down, right? Part of the sum conjugation, cogito er, ergo sum. And you're correct about that. Little Caesar in Caesar. Um, let's see. RG suggestive. Do we have a... Oh, you know what? It's actually not going to be ergo because there are very few words starting with RG or AO. So let's take that out. Jude Sundar says, four down is Magneto. This is a man who knows his Marvel Comics villains. And that's indeed Magneto. So we finished that corner, which is great. 19 down, Grandpa Walton portrayer. I remember watching the Waltons when I was a kid. Um, that would be, that was uh, the actor Will Gear. Um, let's see. Melissa Gunning agrees, Magneto. Holly Roche says 15 across is Yang, I, and I like that. This is a great clue, you guys. You gotta check this out. The lighter side. Now, I think of Mad Magazine when I uh, see something the lighter side, like the lighter side of. Um, but in today's clue, we have that question mark. So we know we're being asked to think outside the box. And the lighter side of the yin-yang sign is the yang, the yin being the darker side. So that's pr I thought that was pretty clever. Here's another one that I really liked. Oh, well, actually, no, this was, a, this was a different one, although it is very good. Fish whose name is a calculator number turned upside down. Okay, raise your hands if you played with calculator numbers when you were in school. That's an eel, and if you turn it upside down, it's definitely 733. Ha, ha, ha. Um, Lauren Grand Magneto, bless you. Um, Bavika Devnani says, 24 down is bite, B-Y-T-E. Let's take a look at that, and that moves us into another section, tiny information unit. Absolutely, absolutely a bite. Let's see what we have here that ends in an X. Hero in the Trojan War. Well, the only one I know of that was four letters and ends in an X was Ajax. Okay, now I know. Um, what else? <laughs> Lisa Wood fell for something. That I wanted 16 across to be chill so badly. You have no idea. The Netflix activity, though, uh, we have is something entirely different. It is not Netflix and chill. This is the New York Times, you guys, the gray lady. So it's not going to be Netflix and chill. It's going to be binge. Sorry, guys. Um, 
Let's see, Puya BK says 13 down is FBI lab. Facility at Quantico. Yep, sounds, sounds, like, sounds like a thing to me. Um, let's see, Hornets and the like. Um, hmm. Oh, okay. The Hornets are not necessarily the mosquitoes today. We're thinking of an NBA we're thinking of NBA teams because we have Hornets and the like, so it's a plural. Um, Marcy Payne has guessed 29 across. And we're going to get to that in just a second. Here's something I learned today. And, and on Wordplay, we have a couple of hashtags that we use, much to the consternation of my copy editors who don't like hashtags in the New York Times. I use the hashtags today I learned and now I know. I didn't know that the first, the NBC chimes, dun, 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 were uh, the first US registered sound mark. Isn't that awesome? You, you, there are some pretty cool factoids you can learn from doing this. And uh, the person, thank you again for suggesting it, the no matter how is indeed by J, by hook or by crook. Oops, sorry about that. There we go. Good. So you guys have solved all of the theme entries. Now we just have to bring it home, okay? Got a few corners left here. Let's, let's do the central one here. Who, me? Um, let's see. Let's try the downs. Bra. Uh, someone shouts bra at you. They're usually meaning my man. Um, 27 down, boy or girl follower, that's got to be Scouts. And star in Orion, this is another today I learned or now I know, this is the star Rigel. Um, Julie Harkins Cobb agrees that 32 across is moi, um, who me? And uh, Jung Hao Tan uh, says by hook or by crook. Wayne Melander says by hook or by crook, we're all agreed on that. Uh, now let's bring it home and solve the rest of this. Power, we still don't know what that is. Taxable amount for an investor. Five down, that's got to be a gain, right? The gains tax. Small step up. Um, well, if you step up, you're, you're usually stepping up a rung. Um, Christopher Smith says, my man is correct. S uh, people are agreeing on Scout and Rigel and moi and um, my man. And BJ Fernandez Cohn says, 62 down. 62 down. Is there a 62 down? I don't see a 62. Oh, is cuz, except that we have this X here. It can't be cuz, because it, the clue is history's blank affair. History's blank affair. And this was an 18th century scan diplomatic scandal that occurred. I happen to know about this. So we have hashtag today I learned about the XYZ affair. Uh, and you can Google that. Um, we're almost done, you guys. Look at this. Uh, seven down, old ship constellation. Um, Let's see, we've got Power Blank. We've got French composer, that's Gabrielle Faure. And I think that the old ship constellation has to be Argo, like Jason and the Argo knots. And mixed stock is a beefalo. So the answer to five across is Power Blank or Power Grab. Um, let's see, a lot of people are agreeing on the act on the XYZ affair, some people are saying that, that five across should be power grid. You're correct that power grid would definitely fit. The only problem is that there is no a constellation called Ergo, and there is no uh, mixed stock called a Defalo. So power grab happens to be the answer. Um, all right, we've got four squares left, you guys. This is the end, let's, let's do this. 57 down, part of the sum conjugation. We thought it was er ergo. Uh, it's not, because there are no words beginning with RG in the English language. Suggestive is typically going to be racy. 
So I think that the part of the sum conjugation and language is going to be erat. Um, I know this mostly because I do a lot of crossword puzzles. In fact, I do them every day. So I've seen erat quite a few times. Um, now we have left little Caesar. Gul Nazumer thinks it's Rico. Um, and uh, other people are agreeing that it's Erat and covering the waterfront, which is a, a, a phrase I was not familiar with, but it happens to mean going from A to Z. So I'm going to put that last O in there and look at us. We solved a Thursday New York Times crossword puzzle together. That's right, the last answer was A to Z. Now, if we can do that together, we can do anything. We can move forward, and I want everybody to hold on to that. And I also would like you to please check out Wordplay, the crossword puzzle column of the New York Times. Um, keep on solving, and uh, I will see you next week. Thanks, everybody.